Hello folks, my name is Mike Cannon with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Group and today we're going to do a short video on how to manually status the HP DL360 G7 RAID battery on system platform. A few things about the HP DL360 G7 and the RAID battery before we get started. First is the HP uses the P410i RAID controller. This allows the applications to use either RAID 0, 1, or 5. The P410i supports writing to cache, which requires a battery. The battery is a nickel metal hydride. This battery is considered a consumable and will have a limited life. Depending on the application, the deprecation of the battery could have an impact on performance and or upgrades. Alarming in System Platform started with System Platform 6.0, Service Pack 3, Patch 6, and the GA load for 6.2. Prior to that, you had to manually status the RAID battery, which we'll show you how to do today. As you can see, we're logged into System Platform as admin. We're in Domain 0, which is exactly where we want to be. I always like to find out what the software version is first. So I type SW version. As you can see, we're at 6.2.0.0.27, which is a GA load, which is perfect. Next, we have to be logged in as root to find out the server type and status the RAID battery. We want to know server type so it tells us whether, it's, whether we run the Mega CLI command or the HPACU CLI commands. So we SU to root. We enter the root password. First, we're going to run a command to determine a server type. So we type in DMI decode space dash s space system dash product dash name. It tells us it's a ProLiant DL360 G7. So we'll use the HPAC UCLI commands. First, we're going to have to change our directory. So we change our directory to forward slash USR forward slash SBIN. Next, we're going to type in the command to status the RAID controller and battery. So we type in period forward slash HPACUCLI space controller space all space show space detail. There are six things we're going to look at on this page. The first thing will be the controller status. And if again, if that's okay, that's a good thing. So that we're okay. The next thing we're going to look at is going to be the cache status. The same thing applies to that. Again, okay is good. Below that is accelerator ratio. The default of IA standard is 25% read, 75% write. If you see a 100% read, zero right, it's pointing towards a bad battery. You want to check further into it. Anything other than that, somebody manually changed it and they shouldn't have. The drive write cache should be disabled. That's the Avaya standard. We use the RAID controller to cache, not the hard drive. And then we're going to go down to the bottom and look at the battery count and the battery status. The count should be one and the battery status should be okay. At this point, we're perfect. We have one battery, we're okay. This server RAID controller and RAID battery are good. There's no reason to change it. We now know how to manually status the RAID controller and RAID battery on a HP server and system platform. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentoratavaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Again, thanks for choosing Avaya.